already have people waiting. So that's that's pretty cool. All right, we're live now. So yeah, that's awesome. Good evening, everyone. It's so great to see that we already have a lot of people watching us. And this is really, really awesome. You guys are always here and we're very, very happy to be here. Uh, this is another uh, Musiversal live stream and today we're bringing another Musiversal musician. I am Pedro Zimmer, I'm with Artist Relations here and tonight I have Gabor with us which is our uh, guitar player. How are you doing Gabor? I'm great, fine. How are you and how are everybody? I'm doing great and I hope everybody is doing great as well. Let's see if anyone responds or ask, asks any question or whatever. So before we begin, I want to give you guys a couple of messages. Uh, the Musiverso Unlimited window is currently closed, but it's about to open. So if you were part of the waitlist, if you are already on the waitlist, you might receive an invitation in the next couple of days. So be ready for that. And as soon as you get the invitations, you the invitation you want to make sure that you get your spot. So uh, just subscribe as soon as possible. Uh, this would be my advice. If you have any questions regarding Unlimited, if you want to talk to anyone regarding Unlimited, you can uh, book a demo session with one of our studio assistants. You just go to our website and request to do that, and uh, we'll have one of our studio assistants. Uh, showing you the platform around, showing you how everything works and how you can make the best out of the platform. Sounds good. Uh, today, we're going to show you how a guitar recording session usually goes with Gabor. And if you have any questions regarding uh, guitar playing, guitar sessions and anything related to that, please let us know and, well, we have an expert here to help you. So. <laughs> Gabor, are you ready to rock some guitars? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Awesome. So if you want to bring up uh, your screen, uh, just let me tell you, everyone, this is a song. And Gabor, this is actually a challenge for you because this song is from a very old client of mine and he kind of gave up on this song. But I really, really like this track. Like I, I like the beat. I like the, the voices going on. Like I think it's a fun track. And I'm trying to make my client like this track again. And I really think that <laughs> guitars might do the trick and help with that. So this is your challenge for today. And why did he give up? Uh, he just wasn't feeling it. He was like, yeah, I can't find the right lyrics. I don't know exactly what to say. And like, I, I don't know where to put my voice in it. And he, he just like... I think he heard it so many times he kind of got, you know, got fed up and um, I think we, we might be able to bring him back. Mm -hmm. Sounds good? Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, we can, if you want, you can share your screen and we can uh, show everyone how the track is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Somehow, Logic is not here to share. To share. Oh, wow. I can, only share I can only share my Chrome tab. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let me try it again. C can you share your entire screen, maybe? Uh, yes. yes. Okay, uh, if you pull up, yeah, that now we can see logic. Awesome. 
Okay. Cool. So let's just, so let's just j jump into it. Do it. Awesome. How do you usually start a session, by the way? Like, what is your... Uh, how do you like to start a session when you receive a track like this? How is usually your first steps? Uh, you, mean, uh, you mean the preparation uh, side or, or the actual session? The, ex the actual session with, like, pretend I'm a client. Yeah, uh, I'm always asking the client if they want to go for a specific sound or a specific way of playing or yeah so maybe these two and and if yes i will go in that direction and if not i play something for them and we start from there awesome yeah i have no idea so you can just play something and let's go from there how how's that sound yeah yeah and and i and i tell them that with it with this kind of song i will record multiple layers of guitars so it, it's because they have to wait a couple of takes to to listen to the whole thing because maybe the first take or the second take second take is is it's not a whole picture. Right. Well, so let's just see how that sounds. Remember to mute your Chrome tab before you begin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Let's go. Yeah, so these yeah, so tracks are called the bad tracks, which won't be, which won't be up front in the up final mix. mix. Just, Just gives a bad for for the whole track. That's why it's called a bad track. I already love it. It's completely different from what I was thinking. <laughs> like I was thinking a very rhythmic, like kind of funky guitar, but this is a this is so much better. Uh, funky guitar is on the way. Okay, I'll, all right. <laughs> but if you hear something which you don't like, or or want to hear something, just tell me. Awesome. If anyone in the chat has any ideas, guys, let us know because. I, yeah. There's always some crazy ideas coming from the chat. I absolutely love, and I love to steal that for my songs. 
<laughs> yeah, so the second one uh, will be the or the one of the funky stuff. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Don't forget to mute my me. Was it funky enough? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Absolutely love that. It gave me a, a little bit of a Daft Punk vibes. So we just had a comment by Anwar, which by the way is a very regular viewer of our live stream. So it's really good to see you again here, man. So Anwar Kinte, uh, he said he really loved that guitar style and he thinks you used it in a song of his called No Need to Worry. Um, a while back in a session can be, can be yeah that's awesome so man i absolutely love what you did there and i see that you have multiple guitars like w what is the difference between the guitars that you're trying out can you tell walk us through a little bit of that a little bit uh, yeah, there's yeah there's a short answer and a long answer to this question <laughs> <laughs> so the short answer would be the sound so every guitar is different, different wood, different pickups, and yeah, I got a couple acoustics, couple electrics, and I always uh, try to find the best for the song. That sounds awesome. So the next uh, track will be still funky, but not with chords, because we have two tracks with chords already. So this one will be a little different. Awesome. What you're thinking? Um, it kind of a muted thing which are which is often used in funk as well awesome can't wait to hear it let's do it
Yeah, that was awesome. That sounded uh, freaking amazing. Go yeah, go ahead. I loved it. I, I really loved it. Thanks. Uh, I'm... What I'm hearing is it was a little too low. So I tried to create those parts. If, if let's say I'm the arranger of the song. And, and this last one, I probably ask you as the client that if you don't mind, if I, um, if I redo it, it because I'm, I, I will play it in a high register. Sounds well. Let's hear it. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay. Which one did you like better? Oh, to be honest, I really like both of them. Uh, and, and I think like if if you send me those two, I'll mix and match. Like use the yeah. higher one for the verse when it, it, it's not supposed to be listened to it too much. And uh, the higher one higher for one. the... Higher one in the chorus. The yeah. chorus. I, I really like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, th that sounds really good. So typically when a session is going like that, uh, do you have the time to experiment a lot of stuff with a lot of people, with, with uh, the music? Or do you usually, like, is this, is this something that happens often in sessions? You record more than one track, more than one part? Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. I like to record uh, more stuff to to give the client options. So these tracks are are fine by themselves, but can be used together. And the first one is okay with the third one, and the second one is okay with the third one as well. So basically, those tracks are interchangeable. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I love that. Um, well, Anwar just uh, told, said that he is getting ready to choose a next song to record with you uh, because he likes uh, having different <laughs> several parts. So, well, you just got another gig yeah. going on, and yeah. we can't wait yeah. to hear you music. See, see Anwar. you next week. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> So, Tori Solato actually sent us a suggestion, which is uh, really yeah. awesome. 
And Tony is a great guy. He's been here in the next, for like in the past two or three uh, live streams. So it's great to see you here again, man. And before V1, which would should be the first one, should be like the end of bar 10 before, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. end of bar 10. Uh, and before C1, which should be the end of bar 26, we should add something yeah. dramatic to help prepare for the next session. Uh, he mentioned like maybe a slide down or a pop-up slap or maybe a high fast strum. Uh, what do you think about that? Uh-huh. Uh, yes, it's a, it's a good idea. As a last uh, track, I often play feels. Oh, awesome. Which, not, which is not solo. It can be a solo if it has its own part in the song. But uh, if there's no solo in it, I, I always give a chance if they like to have feels or not. And if so, I just run through the whole track and play some feels, and probably they will just use one or two of them. But but again, I like to give options. So if it's if it's okay for you, just tell me if it should be overdriven or clean, and I will play uh, a last last take with fails in it. Yeah, I absolutely love that idea. That it gives us options to choose uh, in a bunch of different things. I absolutely love that. Yeah, uh, I would say that for this song. I, it would be more of a clean sound, uh, yeah, clean sound, like maybe if overdriven, like a very, very soft overdrive, but I, I would, I would Just say, clean, yeah. On it. yeah, but I would say more of a clean sound. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Something yeah. Something like this. Love it. Love it. Okay. Well, that sounded great. I definitely have a lot of options to choose from now. And I definitely have, well, a lot of things. That I, it, that, I guess the difficult part is to choose what I want to throw out because <laughs> everything sounds so good. Yeah, you have to, yeah, you have to chop it up and, 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 and pick the favorites. Yeah. 
That's that's awesome. So uh, uh, Anwar actually just mentioned he loves the the he loves the, the the fact that you gave him options, and that's really uh, really awesome. And I, I really appreciate that as well. So Tony, was that was what you had in mind, Tony Salato? Let us know, please, if you have any more ideas. Uh, it would be awesome if any of you guys have any more ideas. That would be awesome. And well, it's actually really cool that we are now like we're almost 30 minutes in so it's good to see like we're 27 minutes in this live stream so it's good to see that like in 27 minutes while answering questions for the public acknowledging the public and um you know going through some technical stuff we were we were able to record like four or five tracks that uh, are usable in the, the music in the song in the future uh, are usually are sessions usually like that or do you record more tracks less tracks how do it usually goes it really depends on the song but but yeah, but, but yeah four, or four or five tracks is the average that's awesome yeah and i imagine also depends like on how hard it is to play what people are asking you to play and how I mean, yeah, or how long, yeah, or how long the the song is? Oh, definitely, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so while we're at that, Anwar made a comment that I think it's very, very interesting. Uh, he said that uh, the key to having sessions uh, so productive is having the music organized, and he knows that he has to be better at providing chords. Which, by the way, I also have to be better at providing chords because, uh, very funny fact, I <laughs> sent Gabor the wrong chords for this song. Uh, they were actually transposed, and I, and I forgot that they were transposed. And I sent him, but he's a good guitarist, so he was able to pick pick the correct note. Up. Um, so, Gabor, usually, what kind of files are you expecting from client? What can I send you? to make your job easier so that we can have a very, very productive session? Um, I think two, two things are the most important. The first is the music itself. Uh, and the second is the chord chart, yeah. I can learn probably 99% of the stuff by ear, but it takes much more time. So uh, and I have to figure out which part is which. Is this a pre-chorus or is this a chorus already, or is this a bridge or it's going to be a solo section and stuff like that. So if I got a chord chart, I don't have to solve the puzzle because I can see immediately how many parts are in the song, what the difference is, what the similarity is. And basically, I just have to listen to the whole throng while looking at the chart, and I'm, and I'm ready to go. And of course, the, the clients are often send me ideas or send me MIDI guitar stuff or reference tracks or 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 whatever to to set me on the right path and 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 those things are are really really helpful that's that's awesome uh when we're talking about a song that has a lot of melodic uh material uh, do you prefer uh, like do you prefer to have the notation written down or like a guitar tab? How do you usually uh, prefer to work? Uh, I read music really well, so I don't like tab. I I think they are pretty much unusable <laughs> for 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 for, uh, for the way I work. So it happens a few weeks ago that. A client wants me to replace a solo with what he did with a MIDI guitar, some kind of I don't know plugin or something, and it was it was notated with every little nuance in it, and yeah, 
Yeah, so I, not just the chart, but but I have the audio as well from the MIDI. So those two things are 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 enough, I think. That's awesome. That's really really helpful, and uh, I, that, it's really cool to see uh, a guitar player that doesn't like using tabs because that means that you <laughs> yeah, you really know what you're doing. Um, it's uh, well. We just had uh, Robert Penzes uh, saying that it's great to listen to you playing some chords. Uh, he had the chance to see you live in the past, and he said you're a very, very cool, very good guitarist. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So Tony actually made a, a very good question. Asked a very good question. Uh, he yeah. thinks he saw that like there was a DI track as well. So, what kind of files are you sending back to the to the uh, client? Do you have one track with effects and another one with no effects? Uh, what what is your setup there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and it it's well spotted. So, what you've heard uh, in on the session will be the amp track it, i just have to give some kind of name to it so it will have amps and effects and everything on it but i always record and send di's as well uh, which just the guitar itself with nothing on it so if you don't like my sounds then you can recreate your own from the DI track using any kind of plugin or or reamp it with a real amp. So basically, I I try to come up with sounds that fit the song perfectly. But but who knows what what will happen in the mix down. Or, or oftentimes I'm the first one uh, who records instruments, and 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 oftentimes it's just just a harmony and a melody track, and 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 I don't know what uh, going to happen later. So, so that's why it's just for safety. But but I think. 10% of the time they are usable to to recreate sounds. Well, that's really, really helpful. And uh, speaking of, how do you go about it? Because if someone is looking for a very specific sound, like the, if they send you a reference, like I want it to sound like this, uh, can you recreate mm -hmm. every single sound? Or uh, how, if how much, if I don't understand about guitar sounds, how much can we experiment and what can... Like, how far can we go when it comes to guitar sounds in the sessions? Uh, how do you like to work like that? I think I can I recreate 95% of it. The, 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 that 5%, we don't know how they exactly do that sound. But, but the kind of the guitar, the kind of the amp or effects or the way of playing, I can definitely do that, uh, and, I uh, and I try to do it in advance before the session, and I show, and I show it to the client, and and, uh, and they told me if they like it or not, and if not, then we'll start experimenting. Then let's use more delay, let's use less delay, let's try a different guitar or something. So that happens, yes, absolutely. That's uh, awesome. So I see a couple of people uh, mentioning that there's some delay in the audio. And yes, there is some delay in the audio uh, because right now we are using uh, audio movers. And if you are a Musiversal user, you're already used to audio movers when you know what that is and what that does. Uh, if you're not a Musiversal user, uh, audio movers is a software that we use to uh, stream audio. Uh, it's different from uh, Zoom or Riverside or like Google Meets or any uh, other streaming software because all of those softwares, when they are sending audio through the internet, they're compressing the audio a lot. Uh, so you're losing a lot of quality and you cannot hear everything. And this is not good when you're in a to hear every single detail to see 
if that's exactly what the musician is recording, like if the musician is recording exactly what you are looking for. So when we use audio movers, the audio that you're hearing right now through YouTube is uncompressed. I mean, the audio from Gabor. My audio might not be as good because I'm not using the best microphone out there. <laughs> but the audio that you're hearing is compressed and it takes a little bit longer to be sent over the internet. So when you are in a musiversal session, you are looking at the musician in a Zoom session. Uh, but it usually has some latency in the audio because, of course, we want to um, hear the best sound possible because the sound, sound is the, mo the most important thing uh, when it comes to music for now, still. So uh, we just had a question from John Battencourt, which also was uh, uh, in some other live streams. It's so cool to see that people are joining uh, live streams again and again. Uh, do you play lap steel or any other instruments, or uh, is your focus guitar? Uh, unfortunately, I'm not having a lap steel, but beside every kind of electric, I play classical guitar, I play steel string acoustic, 12 string acoustic, and I got a guitar lele which is the same as a ukulele but it has six strings and uh, and uh, and, the, and the guitar voicings are, are, are works on it so it's easier to me to play on than a regular ukulele but it sounds almost the same it's it's here so it looks like a ukulele but but the neck is a little wider because of the six strings that's awesome. I've never heard of a, of a guitar lele before. Um, that's really interesting. And uh, all of these instruments are available to be recorded uh, in Musiverso? Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Uh, and when it, when it comes to choosing guitars to record, like uh, what kind of electric guitars uh, we're going to choose, what comes to that? Like, do we get to choose which guitar you, you're going to use? Uh, are you going to choose that based on the sound? Uh, how does that work? Uh, feel free to choose. I like them all. <laughs> but but uh, depends on the reference track or the given material. I will choose one or two to start from, basically. Awesome. Uh, that makes uh, that makes a lot of sense, and it's good because yes. if we don't know uh, about guitars, we have an expert choosing the guitars uh, for us. Uh, we also have another question from Anwar. Uh, can you provide a blank template for a chord chart uh, in Universal? Well, this is actually a very good idea, Anwar. Uh, we don't have that uh, yet, but this is something that we can totally put on our circle. Um, community. The thing is, uh, depending on chord charts, they can change a lot. Um, they can. It, it really depends on the song, and it it could be like a, um, different, uh, you know, different measurements and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we can see. It, we can definitely look into that and see if we can provide uh, something like that. So, and everyone here, if you have any other questions, uh, we have a couple more minutes with Gabor. So um, feel free to do, to ask away. Uh, we are here. If you are not in your circle community yet, you should definitely join that. This was uh, what I was mentioning to Anwar. Uh, this is where we're going to put any templates uh, available there. So Gabor, here's one thing that I want to ask you. If yes. I want a guitar solo, if I want something uh -huh. like, and I don't have an idea, are you comfortable improvising and creating parts uh, in the song? And how far can we take that? What you hear uh, on the current session was totally improvised. And not just the feels, but the chords and everything else. 
so so yes I'm, I'm i'm absolutely comfortable with improvising and how far we can go i'm not the greatest metal player so if you if you throw, oh, if you, if you throw a heavy metal song in front of me and want to use two fingers tapping uh, I, 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 I probably probably try to convince you to, to, to try something else. <laughs> That's awesome. But, uh, but if it's not heavy metal, I'm, 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 I'm okay to do it. Awesome. Uh, and let's say, uh, let's give an example like uh, Blackbird from The Beatles, which the guitar part yeah. is very, uh, is very uh, unique to that song. Uh, and the client is looking to create something like that. Uh, and it doesn't have a starting point, it does just have like a vocal melody or something like that. How do you like to deal with that? Is that maybe something for a custom session or is that something that can be done in a regular session um it's a really good question if uh, if the client has the chord structure of the song and the main melody and uh, and i get a a reference track like blackbird I can adjust what's in Blackbird to that that chord progression in 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 some way. But if uh, if we got the main melody only with no chords and no anything else, that's going to be a tough one. And and I always suggest that. That, that try to come up with something because that songwriting because that 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 melody can be harmonized in hundred different ways and uh, and probably none of them work for on a session so it's 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 not a common uh, problem I I think I I I had a session once or twice so far, and I always suggest the client to to try to come up with something. I will help, and 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 I here to improve it or take it to a next level, but. Uh, but I don't want to write a song for them because. Because that's that's that that's the other 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 part of the process. Yeah, this is like uh, well, music versus for recording, not essentially creating. Like it's pretty much like uh, we were talking last week with Claire. Uh, she has uh, she she gives songwriting advice uh, in music versus, and she was saying, well, in here I'm gonna teach you how to how to. Uh, uh, you know, write a song, but I'm not gonna write a song for you because this is a completely different thing and involves completely different things that uh, it, So in, in music verse, we're here to help you do something like to help you take out something that is already in your mind and make it reality and not create something that yes. is not uh, in, in your mind uh, and I'm thinking about uh, like we were talking a little bit about uh, sessions and, and materials and all that kind of stuff. What is a common mistake or like thing that you see clients doing that takes time away from them in the session? Like, what is the one thing that you think, oh, if they just had like this, they would take much more advantage of uh, a of the session right now? Um. Not everybody send me core charts, and I always write them through the messages. Then please send me a core chart because it speeds up the the preparation time. But this happened, I don't know, three out of ten times. So it's it's basically not not that big deal. 
the other common mistake is sample rate. So on the we got a session sheet with the BPM, the title of the song, the meter, and a lot of other stuff, and there are sample rate. And there are a lot of ways to 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 do it properly, but but sometimes I have to record at let's say 48 kilohertz. But uh, but the material I got is at 44.1. And I, and I really don't know that that he or she recorded their stuff in 44.1, and and I have to adjust my session to that, or just just uh, keep recording at 48 because that's that's why they choose in advance. So that's that's a common, so that's, that's a common and mistake, I, and, I, and I and I I I, I usually go with uh, with the session sheet, but I always but I always, always uh, convert sample rate files <laughs> before sessions. Yeah, and this is something that people need to take care of. Uh, we are actually going to have a live stream uh, with uh, Arthur, our uh, audio editor, talking about specifically that. Uh, next week because when it usually doesn't happen but when we convert a lot of like when we are converting separates a lot uh, it might cause us a lot of issues uh, like if you are if you if you're recording in 44 in 48 and you're re and you are um, converting to 44.1 probably you're not gonna have any issues because it's pretty much like getting a higher resolution picture and making it smaller like you're not losing anything but if you are recording 44.1 and you are converting to 48 kilohertz you are stretching that so it's pretty much like taking a picture that is a little bit that has a lower resolution and making it bigger and that's going to yeah. look a little bit uh i mean it's probably you won't hear the difference uh, most of the time, but you can, like if you do it uh, many times. And the thing that's also very important is if you have different sample rates, this can cause a problem in tempo. Like you, it can feel like the audio is out of time, like the guitar playing is out of time or the drums are out of time because they are in different yeah, sample and rates. In, in, and in key also. In key as well, exactly. It literally changes the, to the the sound, so you should be very careful with that. Um, so, guys, we have uh, ten more minutes uh, now, and if you have any questions, this is your final warning. I always say that is a final warning because say okay, guys, no more questions anymore. Everyone just starts sending a lot of questions so i'm just saying okay guys no more questions now so that people can uh, start sending them their questions uh anwar just asked if you have any examples of uh, core charts that are very well made so he can uh look and learn from do you have any that you can maybe send me and i can put it on a circle or do you have one that you can show right now uh, uh... I think I can, I can I can show you some. Just just let me find some. Um, I will show you a, a, a really simple one, and uh, and maybe a more advanced one. Sounds good. So if it's just if it's just a core chart, so. Nothing on it, just chords. Um, let me find a good one.
Yeah, let's uh, let's use this one. Awesome. While we do that, uh, everyone, I am putting on the chat uh, the link to our circle group. If you are not part of our circle group yet, uh, you should be part of our circle group because we're all there. We have a lot of people from Museversal there. We have a lot of clients from Museversal there. We have some musicians there as well. It's a great place to share music, uh, connect with fellow music makers, uh, ask questions if you have any. And here's the thing, if we have any last minute sessions that become vacant, we're putting them there. So we are announcing them there. So if you are just doing nothing and you see that, you can just take advantage of a session. So um, definitely something that you guys want to take a look at, our circle community. The link is in the chat here in YouTube. Should I share, share my screen? Yes, that would be awesome. Yeah, okay. Screen sharing is not working again. Oh boy. I wonder why. Can you maybe send me this and I can try to share it from here? Yes, but let me try it one more time. Okay. No. Okay, uh, I'll send it to you. Okay, send me on, on uh, Slack and I'll just share it here. I cannot send it through the chat as well. You can send me on Slack, maybe. Ah, okay. Meanwhile, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask away in the chat. screen works yes I think it works can you guys can you see my screen Gabor uh, yes. Yes, Gabor are you there oh wait you're muted your your oh your stream in uh, audio movers just stopped can you check that real quick? Yes. Uh, 
Check, check, can you hear me? Or maybe we can try and get the audio from outside of audio movers, uh, just... Uh, uh, you, can you just say something? Let's see if uh, it, it's working. Yeah, it's not. Let me see. All right, guys, so we're having a little bit of a technical difficulty, but we will uh, figure this out real quick. Uh, Anwar will be back to explain this real soon. Uh, we just need to figure out why we cannot hear Garbo Gabor now. problem with logic um, we're reopening logic so that can be solved and it will be solved real quick we'll be right back with the explanation for this core chart Oh, I can hear you typing now, so I think yeah. Yeah. we're good. Awesome, we're back. Great. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Oh, that's all good, man. Now we can uh, hear you. So, uh, is this uh, this is one of the charts that you just sent me, and uh, can you explain to us what is going on there and why it's it, it looks good or not? Yeah, yeah it has... Uh the sections on the right side so you can see intro verse chorus solo and so on and so on and uh, and uh, on each uh, next to those marks you have the chords and uh, and you have the slashes which which means how many times you have to play those chords they're like the bars right yeah supposed to, yeah, supposed to be the bars yeah so that's, so that's not created with a music notation software i think it's just from word or something like that right yeah, so, it's... so that's why it's a it's a simple one, but 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 a, a chart like this could be enough for 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 a session. Right. Yeah. This is definitely like a very different chart. Like I've never seen a chart like this. It's so interesting, I would say. Yeah, and I sent you while we have that uh, that audio problem another one. Yes. Which is a, 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 a more detailed one. I'm opening that one right now. Let me find it. There we go.
so in this one, yeah, so in this one you get everything. You get so, everything. The so the chord voicings, rhythm, rhythm and, there's and there's a small melody line on uh, on the lower side, the lower side. and, uh, and uh, yeah, so this one is 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 the other end. Most of the charts, what I got is something in the middle. So it, it, so it, it they they are probably created with a music notation software, but it it doesn't have to be. Complex like this. Awesome. Uh, we just have a question from John. Uh, can if he yes. sends the lyrics of the song with the chords over it, like we usually see, like in uh, those uh, guitar yeah, yeah. websites, like yeah, guitar yeah. tab and all that, uh, would that work for you as well? Uh, it's, better uh, it's better than nothing. <laughs> But uh, but there are not so many musical informations in those charts because they doesn't have bar lines. So there's that's a there's a there's a line in the lyric and there's a C. But I don't know if that C takes one bar or less, two bars or four bars or 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 anything like that. But uh, but it's better. So, but it's better. so if if uh, you are not familiar how to write a proper chart, or don't have a music notation software, I can go with that one for sure. But I have to check. So I have to listen to the music carefully and put the bar lines in, put rhythm in. If if needed, uh, so it it takes a little more time to prepare. Awesome, sounds good. Yeah, uh, it's it's more better than nothing. Uh, that that's really good. So yeah, uh, guys, we actually came up uh, just come up on our time. So uh, if you have any final questions, now is the time to ask. And Gabor. Thank you so much for joining us today and bringing all your knowledge uh, of guitar. Uh, do you have any final thoughts, You're final welcome. messages that you would like to uh, tell everyone? Ooh, I think we, Ooh, covered, I a think we covered a lot of uh, stuff. Uh, so no, I no, I I'm, 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 uh, no, yeah, no, we I think we are fine. We did cover a lot today, uh, and this was very, very helpful uh, for uh, everyone that wants to record guitar and everyone that that wants to record with uh, any music or some musicians. So everyone that's avail that's uh, watching us right now, thank you so much for joining as well. We're very happy to see a lot of familiar faces, and please. Uh, feel welcome to join in our next live streams. Uh, next week we are having a live stream for cello and for audio editing. So you don't want to miss those ones because they are going to be awesome, just as awesome as this one live stream was. So thank you everyone for joining. Um, if you have any questions, you feel free to reach out to us on Circle on our communication channels um, and. If you want to record with Gabor, he's available in Museversal uh, Unlimited. So just subscribe and book a session with him. He will rock your song uh, like he rocked my song <laughs> earlier today. Uh, again, Gabor, and everyone have a good night. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me.